Guys, welcome to Card Kraken. This is Collector Box number four. Who do we have on this break? Well, let's take a look there on the right hand side. We're going to see Jack. He's got white on this. He hasn't stopped being on white for the my. This is the third break in a row now. Uh, chasing that Teferi protection. Next up, we have Edward. He's on blue. The top dog spot black. We have Lloyd on it. Followed by red, we have Al Alexandra. Uh, had to cut off his name because, uh, yeah, my layout couldn't handle how long his name was. Next up, we have Green, that's Randy. And then afterwards, we have Lynn. He's on the multi-spot. So, uh, just another reminder that there's no colorless and land spot at this break. And what I do is I randomly give it out to you guys. Everyone should be able to get a hit if we hit six. I lay them out in a clock-like formation, I roll the dice, and whichever number I hit is how I give away the cards going clockwise. Doesn't make sense now, but you guys will see what happens uh, once, once I get that giveaway started. That's going to happen after I crack all the packs, and of course I'm going to do a recap at the end afterwards. Uh, also a reminder, every entry that you guys have on my boxes till May 4th gets included in my Secret Layer Seb McKinnon giveaway. Uh, so far it's just two of each card that I'll be giving away. Yeah, each slot's an entry and a chance to win. Also, for my breaks, I do sleeve the big hits along the way. I even have some, like, perfect hard sleeves that I'll be using on the, like, really big hits. Uh, so... I, I do also go through the commons and uncommons, see if there's anything that's kind of, uh, you know, three, four, five, six dollars even for some of those foils in that set, and I make sure to add it into your break. If there's anything you guys see along the way that's in your color you want me to add, feel free to let me know. I'm, uh, I can always throw that in. So, let's get started. And I'm terrible at actually getting this seal to open. Oh my god. I'm gonna cheat. There we go. What do we have? We have six. We have our twelve. Throw it on the ground. That's where it goes. Okay. Uh, first three boxes that I've had. Not they. They weren't too bad. A lot of duplicate triplicates even in one of the boxes. I think we had four triplicates. Kind of zapped the fun out of that a bit. Uh, I am I am also going to be looking up cards as we go. Mostly like, hey, I don't know these Japanese cards right off the bat. I'm getting better as I crack these. So uh, just keep that in mind as I crack. Best of luck, guys, on the break. Let's get started here. Starting with our Eureka moment. Let me just check. Perfect. That looks great. Okay. Gaiden Voice. Serpentine Curve. Tangle Trap. Then we have a Mage Hunter's Onslaught. Our Less... Oh, nope. Our Horror. Shadewing Laureate. There's our Foil Common Lesson. Introduction to Annihilation. Beneath that, we have a Prismari Command. That's going to multi. What do we have underneath? It's a Mythic. Felisa, Fang of the Silver Quill. I haven't come across this one yet. Another hit going towards multi. Nice. Interesting. Beneath this, we have a rare, it's an accomplished alchemist. Then we have an uncommon etched. This one I'm not familiar with. I think it's the first one I've cracked in Japanese. Let me take a quick look. It's not Abundant Harvest, although it looks very close to it. It's Snakeskin Veil. Ah, there we go. There we go. That's going to green. Beneath this, we have a rare etched compulsive research. Going to blue. Beneath this, an uncommon foil thrill of possibility. These mystical archives are just great. And beneath this, a rare etched foil, or sorry, no, full foil doom blade mystical archive. That's, I really like the art for, for this one. And then we have our token underneath. Let's quickly sleeve these. I think... Oh no, we're, we're missing a hit for white. Otherwise everyone would have got something right off the get-go. First pack. Let's throw these in their slots. Oh, 
Awesome. On to pack two. Spectacle Mage. Silver Quill Pledge Mage. Arcane Subtraction. Silver Quill Campus. Big play. Wormhole Serpent. Next up. Quintorius Field Historian. We have a rare lesson. It's the teaching of the Archaics. That's going to blue. What do we have underneath? It's a foil rare wandering archaic. Wow, so this card's like $35. That's going in the giveaway pile. That's a pretty nice one to hit right off the get-go already. Awesome. What's beneath it? It's a rare fractal harness. This is the commander slot. That's going to green. Beneath that, we have another rare Witherbloom Command. That's going to multi. I believe that's one of the strong ones as well. Then we have an etched foil eliminate. You can kind of see the etch in there at the corners. What do we have? It's a rare etched. I believe this is compulsive research. It is! Japanese rare etched compulsive research. Beneath this, uncommon foil divine gambit. I love the art for this. Just the way, especially in the dragon's eyes, it catches it. Really nice. What do we have underneath? It's a foil rare blade historian going to multi. This looks really nice too. Okay, let's sleeve these. Yeah, you can actually kind of tell this archaic is off center. Let's just take a quick alert. This this border is fairly thin. Oh, and if you actually take a look, it's like slightly misprinted. Like, there's something weird going on with this three in the corner. Very interesting. Let's just throw a sleeve on this guy while I have him out. I think that's probably the best hit we can get for uh, for our colorless, other than the full art version. And hey, we've seen a lot of duplicates. We could still expect to see one of those come up. Let's go to our third pack. Fuming Effigy, Relic Sloth, Ageless Guardian, Promise in Dusk Mage, Letter of Acceptance, that's a really nice looking card, actually. Beneath that, we have a Professor of Symbology. Then an Expressive Iteration. Then our uncommon, our lesson is an uncommon containment breach. Beneath that, it's a foil rare, it's a land, Sam Burley. Another card going to our giveaway pile at the end. I really like what he did with these, these lands. Beneath that, we have a Surge to Victory in our Commander slot. Once underneath, it's a rare Teaching of the Archaics. Starting to see some duplicates. Uncommon defi Etched Foil Defiant Strike. Beneath that is a rare... Ooh. This, I believe, is God's Willin. Etched Japanese Foil. What do we have underneath? There we go. Duress. Fully foiled duress, mystical archive duress. Beneath that, oh mama. Okay, so we have a mythic Japanese. <laughs> oh my god, we got there, Lloyd. We got there, Lloyd. We got there, Lloyd. This is getting the perfect hard sleeve. Wow. Wow, this is the the best hit you can expect, the best one you want to get. $350, I believe it's sold out on face-to-face. -face. Absolutely nuts. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. I, I didn't think I'd crack one of these, perhaps an etched foil one. Uh, let's, let's have him a bit more of a centerpiece as we break here. Nicely done. Nicely done. Wow. Okay. Will we see another one? Who knows? I think one's enough, but... The way these boxes go, 
That was quite the hit. Wow. Gorgeous. Well done, Lloyd. Well done. People have been chasing uh, my boxes knowing that we're expecting to get a big hit, and we, we finally got there. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. Congrats. Okay, on to our on to our next pack. I'm still a, I'm still a bit shocked that that just happened. Wow, that's that's amazing. Okay, <laughs> Pigment Storm, Biomathematician, Curate, Spring Main Servant, Prismari Campus. We have an Overgrown Arch, followed by Zephyr Boots. What's our lesson? It's a common Pest Seminin. Beneath this, we have a Mythic. Harness the Infinity, Seb McKinnon, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I I can't wait to see this get played in Commander as well. Just the shenanigans. <laughs> okay, next up we have a rare Sprout Brack, Trudge. I haven't come across this guy. Commander slot, interesting. He gets cheaper the more life you gained, and you can cast him from your graveyard. Huh. That's really interesting. What's beneath it? We have a Mythic. Sh Shadrix Silver Quill. Full art. That's going to our multi slot. Multi is a pretty safe bet in these breaks, and it's it's definitely getting its hits. What do we have underneath? Uncommon etched divine gambit. We've already seen one. This is the etched version. What do we have underneath? It's a rare etched regrowth. Going to green. Beneath this we have Foil, Uncommon, Defiant Strike, Japanese Foil, and beneath this, another Mythic. We have Increasing Vengeance going to red. Mystical Archive. Wow. We had three Mythics in that pack. This, this, this is a hotter box. I'm so happy to see this for you guys. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Okay, let's leave up these foils. Crazy, crazy, crazy this is it obvious that that guy is a shiny boy I want to make sure people know <laughs> oh, hey let's keep going Combat Professor, Elemental Masterpiece, Prismari Pledge Mage, Essence Infusion, Professor of Zoomancy, Storm Kiln Artist. Beneath that, Closing Statement. What do we have underneath as our lesson? Introduction to Prophecy. What's hiding underneath? It's a rare Ingenious Mastery. Followed by a rare Muse Vortex. Interesting. I haven't come across this. I really like the art. really like the art. I like my Vortex. Beneath that, hey, we have another card going into our giveaway pile. Fury Calm Snarl. Beneath this, an uncommon etched Village Rites. Beneath this, we have a rare Japanese etched Faithless Luden. Yep, not that ugly version that the English cards have. This is the Japanese one. What do we have underneath? It's uncommon. Another village rights in the same pack. What's going on here? This time fully foiled. And beneath that, we have a foil rare selfless glyph weaver. That's going to white. I really like this card. I, I, I expect it's not just going to fizzle out with standard. I could see this getting played in commander on a fairly regular basis. Okay, we're halfway through on this pack, pack six. We have a Twin Scroll Shaman, Reject, Spiteful Squad, Unwilling Ingredient, Excavated Wall, Brackish Trudge is our first uncommon, followed by Damogoth Woe Eater. 
Beneath that or lesson, it's a common elemental summoning. Beneath this, it's foil rare silver quill command. Another command for multi. We have a rare cursed mirror. In our commander slot, beneath this, tempted by the auric. Uncommon etched off. A etched foil ephemerate. What's underneath? It looks like it's an, <laughs> another foil opt that we're coming across. Two in the same pack again. Heck, they're not, they're not shy on showing us duplicates. They just throw them in the same pack now. I've cracked several of these. I really love how it looks. Obviously, as I flash it around, what do we have underneath? It's a... Ooh, red. Faithless Luden Japanese foil. That's really nice. So, did see another duplicate of this card. I think that's one red doesn't mind picking up. Let's sleeve these up. Halfway through this box, that's crazy. Square up, really like this. Brog the Fuddler, Beeman Defiance, Field Trip, Kelpie Guide, Prismari Apprentice. What's our lesson beneath it? It's an uncommon start from scratch. What do we got? It's a rare Sedgemore uh, Witch. Apparently, this is starting to see quite a bit of play. I like it. What do we got? It's a rare Thane the Broker. Nice, that's in our commander slot. <laughs> Another card I'm not familiar with. Beneath that, Draconic Intervention going to red. And we have a Japanese Etched Eliminate. Then, a rare Etched Dark Ritual going to black. Another hit. What do we have underneath? Ooh, foil uncommon thrill of possibility. That cat art, absolutely hilarious. I love it. And, ooh, blue. Look at that. Mystical Archive foil counterspell. First one I've come across, and that's a nice looking card. Let's leave that up here real quick. It looks like I might be running out of my slimmer sleeves here. Might just have to grab some real quick. I've just been burning through them. Picked up a bunch more today, so I'm glad I have some of the thinner ones. The, the thicker ones are a bit harder to throw on, but uh, I do like throwing them on the really, really big hits. So, Alright, moving on. Next pack. Illustrious Historian. Cram Session, Vortex Runner, Hunt for the Specimens, Lorehold Campus, Stonebinders Familiar, Witherbloom Apprentice, what's our lesson? It's a rare. We got Academic Probation. That's going to white. Beneath this, Foil Rare Flame Scroll Celebrant. That's going to red. Look at the front face for those double sided cards. Afterwards, we have Creative Technique, another hit going to red. Then, Semester's End. This is a very Boros-heavy pack. Then we have an Uncommon Etched Shock. What's beneath that? It's a Rare Etched. Ooh, is this Harmonized? This has to be Harmonized. It's the first one I've come across, though. It is! Etched Foil. There you go, green. Then we have an Un... Ooh! Triple Kit for our Ops. But you have a Japanese foil one. And beneath this, we have a rare basic conjuration full art foil going to green. Ooh. 
Still can't believe the demonic tutor happened. And it's like the full foil one. The full foil one. Quite, quite the hit. Red. Alright. Next pack. I'm struggling. There we go. We have Enthusiastic Study, Star Pupil, Resculpt, Reckless Amplomancer, Spectre of the Fens, Emergent Sequence, followed by Mortality Spear. The spear on this foil really pops out. Beneath that, we have an uncommon foil, Expanded Anatomy. What can we expect? It's foil rare, Leonin Lightscribe. Creature, wow, that's a pretty powerful effect. Huh. Huh. I think Magecraft is a bit broken. Ruxa, patient professor in her commander slot. And what do we got underneath? It's another rare Silver Quill Command, a duplicate. Underneath that, we have an uncommon etched. I want to say... I don't remember what this is. Looking it up real quick. Oh my god, World 1 Denial. I always struggle on this one. That and Memory Lapse, which I find a bit ironic. What do we have underneath? It's a Mythic Etched Increase in Vengeance. Yep. There, there might be another Demonic Tutor in here, and that's just going to get crazy. What do we have underneath? Uncommon Foil Cultivate. And we have a Japanese Rare Foil Brainstorm. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Who could use some more love? We've had some hits for red. They got doubled up on that. White. White. I'd love to crack it to Fairy's Protection. I've only cracked one, and it was in a set booster box. That would be crazy. Brainstorm's pretty awesome. I believe that's a pretty considerably good hit to get. We still have three packs left. Okay. Ogyar, Battleseer, Heated Debate, Rise of the Extus. Or Rise of Extus. This, this foil. Let's try to... Yeah, look at that. Really nice. Okay, Biblioplex Assistant. Followed by a spined Karok. Then we have a hall monitor. I personally really like this art for admins. <laughs> Going on, we have an eye twitch. I've seen that sequence before. We have a common foil inkling summoning. What's beneath it? We have a foil rare Demogoth Titan. I, I want to say I've seen this exact pack get cracked before. Except for this guy. This guy just ruined everything I thought I knew. Nils Discipline Enforcer. Going to white in the commander slot. We have a mythic. Extus. Orc Overlord. Another hit going to multi. What's beneath it? Uncommon Etched Revitalize. Followed by a Japanese mythic. Mind's Desire. Wow. We're, there's, this is a very mythic heavy box. Look at that. Etched foil. What do we have underneath? Foil Uncommon, Infuriate, Fully Foil, and our final card is a Faithless Luden. Double and up, you get this ugly version of this art. Look at that. Look at that. What a, what a ridiculous pack. Okay, let's grab those, 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 and that. Second last pack, pack 11. What surprises can we await? Make your mark. First day of class. Frost, Trickster, A Lash of Malice, Witherbloom Campus, Symmetry Sage, Followed by a Fracture. That's actually a... Uh, that's a hit for... Uh, 
for multi. I'm going to set that aside. Our common, our lesson is a common environmental sciences. Followed by a rare Cody vociferous codex. Look at that. That's going in our giveaway pile. Followed by a rare vein witch coven. What's beneath that? We have an auric lore mage. Followed by an uncommon etched infuriate. Then a rare inquisition of Kozilek. Etched foil going to black. What's afterwards? Agonize and remorse. Fully foil. And then we have a rare multiple choice foil full art. Sleeve these two up. Whoop. There we go. That's a safer spot for it. Our last pack, guys. Our last pack. I'm hoping we go out with a bang. Last box we did. Several mythics. Last card was a Japanese foil, uh, fully foil Mind's Desire. Okay, so we have Stonebound Mentor, Witherbloom Pledge Mage, Expel, Charge Through, Leech Fanatic, Clever Luminancer, that's a hit for white. This card I think is like 4 or $5. It's going to be put set aside. Beneath this, Team Pennant. Then we have an Uncommon Lesson, it's Fractal Summoning. Followed by, oh my god, oh my god, Black, Lloyd, 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 look at this, look at this final hit we get at the end for you, we're not even done the pack yet, Professor Onyx, Liliana herself, wow, amazing, insane hits for Black, you get another hit, it's cunning rhetoric, followed by a rare Illuminate History. What do we have underneath? Uncommon etched negate with a rare etched growth spiral. I want to say that's growth spiral. It's got to be. It is. That makes sense. First one I've come across. What do we have under hiding underneath? Uncommon foil snakeskin veil. And our final card in this pack, in the box. Ooh, Japanese rare foil. Weather the storm, going to green. Green gets a lot of love at the end. I'm going to hard sleeve this guy for you, Lloyd. Yeah, it's a lot of... It's really weird sleeving cards in the hard sleeves there, so... Hey! Look at that. I just have enough sleeves for this pack and then the one land that I have left. Great stuff. Awesome. Hey, two hits for green at the end there. One for multi, one for blue, uh, one for red, one for, well, two for black, and one for white. So everyone hit something right near there at the end. Okay. Giveaway time, giveaway time. These are our four cards. Pretty pretty solid, actually. It's $35. This guy is ridiculous. I, I don't know how much he costs. I just think he's a very interesting card. And then two lands. So let me just shuffle, kind of randomize these. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's pretty obvious what that one is. Okay, let's do this. So this is going to be our 12 o'clock. Then we go clockwise. I'm going to roll this dice. Uh, you'll notice there's uh, numbers next to people's names. So let's say if I roll a one, we start, this card goes to Jack, followed by blue, uh, or followed by number two, so that'd be Edward, and then three would be Lloyd, and then four. So two people aren't going to get a card. We didn't get enough hits for that, but that's fine. We, we got hits in the colors you wanted. So we start number three, 
Lloyd, you are getting the Fury Calm Calm Fury Calm Snarl. And hey, Alex, you're getting the Wandering Archaic on red. Randy on green, you're getting the Necro Blossom Snarl foil. And last but not least, on multi, you're getting Cody, which is a bit appropriate because he is five color. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to do our recap here next. Let's start with... Uh, I'm going to start from the top with white here. So this was Jack. Thanks again for buying in, Jack. You, you, keep, you keep going with white. Let's see how we did for you. You have this clever Luminancer. Etched Foil Revitalize. Let's get a bit closer here. You have Nils Dis Discipline Enforcer. Leonin Light Scribe. Semester's End. Academic Probation. Ephemerate. Foil Selfless Glyph Weaver. Divine Gambit. Defiant Strike Foil. Uh, God's Willin. <laughs> Defiant Strike. Another Divine's Gambit. So you got in the white slot. I think you've had better performances than some other ones. Let's go to our blue slot. This was Edward. He was on blue. We go and start with our Negate Foil Multiple Choice. Let's just push that in the sleeve a bit more. You got a Japanese Etched Minds Desire. Oh, let's put that a bit more center. Look at that. You have a Brainstorm. You have an angry, angry cat there. Then we have a Whirlwind Denial, followed by a Japanese Foil Opt. This Foil Counterspell, Full Art. Tempted by the Auric, another Opt that's Etched Foil. A Fully Foil Opt, Muse Vortex, followed by Ingenious Mastery, Teaching of the Archaics, Compulsive Research, Teaching of the Archaics again, and then Compulsive Research. So, a few duplicates in that slot. Next up, it's Black. Big hits in Black. We got there. I got the, We got one of those boxes. It did stuff. So, you did hit the Fury Calm Snarl. Followed by Cunning Rhetoric. Then you have yourself a Foil Professor Onyx. Vain Witch Coven. Auric Lore Mage. Inquisition of Kozilek, Agonize and Remorse, Eliminate, Dark Ritual, Fane the Broker, Sedgemore Witch, R Village Rites, Another Village Rites, Duress, Eliminate, and Doomblade, and I think that was it, right? That's Soul Black God. They, I don't think they did anything else. Uh, who am I kidding? We did hit our Demonic Tutor. Fully foiled. Ex amazing. Amazing. I <laughs> Congrats, Lloyd. Moving on, we're going to green. We had Randy on green. He did land himself a Necro Blossom Snarl. Oh, he doesn't believe I cracked it? Ah, uh, that's, that, that's classic, Vincent. <laughs> we have a foil snakeskin veil. Foil weather the storms. Ruxa paint... Patient Professor, Cultivate, Harmonize, Basic Conjuration, Regrowth, Sprout Back Trudge, Fractal Harness, Another Snakeskin Veil, and Accomplish Alchemist. A bit uh, less hits that, that we could have... Ex uh, a bit low on the hits for green, is what I'm trying to say. But thanks for joining, Randy. We're moving on to Lin. He was on multi. Multi is a pretty safe bet. Let's see how safe it was. We have a foil Cody. You have a growth spiral. Foil fracture. Extus auric overlord. Demogoth titan. Silver quill command. Foil silver quill command. Shadrix silver quill. Back to back to back there. Harness the infinity. Harness infinity foil. Wither bloom command. Foil Blade Historian, Felisa, Fang of Silver Quill, and Prismari Command Foil. A lot of commands there. Well, this was a this was a quite the ride for a box. Thank you all for joining. If you guys are, uh, I do have some boxes. I have two boxes left because you guys have participated in it. 
if you guys buy another slot, I knock five dollars off the price. So uh, just looking at kind of selling my the the remainder for this weekend, and uh, I might have some Japanese set boosters come along as well. So uh, I'll have prices for that once I have the product. I don't know if I can get my hands on it quite just yet. So. Sorry, just reading the notes there. He didn't believe you could get full. Oh, he doesn't believe you could. Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, hey, we did it right here. <laughs> just just moments ago, we cracked one. Oh, wow. What a, what a box. Thanks again, guys, for joining. Uh, once again, just a reminder, every slot you buy in one of my boxes here throws an entry into my giveaway. If I sell all of my product... Uh, before May 4th, like I'll throw in some extra cards and I'll probably have some extra items coming along the way. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one.